Welcome to Seven Days of Science. Starting off the news this week, the Dark Energy Spectroscopic Instrument, or DESI, has started its work from Arizona, surveying the skies to create the most detailed map of the universe ever. The primary focus of this project is to reveal more behind the mystery of dark energy, a force that we know very little about, apart from what appears to be its central role, expanding the universe. It used to be thought that the Big Bang was the force that expanded the universe and caused its continued expansion, but in 1998 it was discovered that the expansion of the universe was accelerating, meaning that there had to be a force behind this continued acceleration. This is widely believed to be a force that has been named dark energy. Professor Ofer Lahav from University College London told the BBC that learning more from dark energy may lead to a revolution in physics. In other news, a study has traced the true origins of modern humans back to Botswana. Researchers have pinpointed this to a region south of the Zambezi Basin, which today is mostly salt pans, but would have been a very wet region 200,000 years ago. The scientists have suggested that modern humans moved on after about 70,000 years as the climate changed, which would have encouraged future migrations throughout the planet. This new study has been heavily criticised, however, with one expert saying that one could not reconstruct the human origin just from mitochondrial DNA. Starting off this week's paleontology news is the publication of a new species of early tetrapod. This animal, called Palmastega elidae, was found in Devonian age rocks in Russia being compromised of enough skeletal material to reconstruct the skull and shoulder girdle. This discovery is incredibly useful in showing us what the earliest tetrapods would have looked like, since it dates back to far before all the previously known oldest tetrapods that could be partially reconstructed, indicating that this animal would have likely been a mostly aquatic creature that cruised about near the surface of the water. Also this week we have not one, not two, but three new dinosaurs named. The first of these is a brand new genus and species named Zhengmenglong Yinglangis. This animal comes from the Haijin Formation of northeastern China, possessing a unique combination of anatomical features that distinguish it from all other Comsognathids, and also being one of the smallest, if not the smallest in this group, at just half a metre in length. The second new dinosaur this week is a new genus and species of titanosauriform sauropod from late Jurassic aged rocks in the Xinjiang province, China. Only a right femur is known of this animal, but it's very complete and displays many characteristics that indicate this is a new species. Therefore, it's been named Fushanosaurus kitaensis, and based on comparisons with other titanosaurs, it's been estimated that this new dinosaur could have reached about 30 metres in length. And finally, we also welcome a new genus and species of Alvarezsaur, named Nemegtonicus Cytus. This theropod originates from the late Cretaceous age Nemengt formation in Mongolia, and is based on two specimens in association with each other. A third specimen, also in association, was additionally described in the same paper, but has been referred to another Alvarezsaur genus. The paper also states how the fact that three Alvarezsaur individuals were found in the same locality shows that these dinosaurs must have been relatively abundant in this time and place. Thank you very much for listening to 7 Days of Science. I do hope you enjoyed it and feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful Halloween and we'll see you on Sunday.